Have you ever wondered how we could possibly travel vast distances across the universe? Space travel, a concept that has captivated our collective imagination for generations, presents challenges and mysteries that scientists and dreamers alike grapple with daily. Today we delve into two captivating possibilities, wormholes and the speed of light. Imagine, if you will, a cosmic highway stretching across the vast expanse of the universe. This is the realm of space travel, where distances are so immense that they boggle the mind and humble the spirit. It's a realm where conventional means of transport fall short and where we must turn to the most extraordinary theories and concepts to make sense of our place in the cosmos. Enter wormholes, the universe's hypothetical shortcuts. Like cosmic tunnels, they're theorized to connect distant points in space and time, circumventing the conventional limitations of distance and time. If such structures exist and can be stabilized, they could potentially enable faster than light travel, offering a tantalizing solution to the conundrum of cosmic distances. But wormholes are not without their challenges. From their creation and stabilization to the extreme conditions near their entrances and exits, they pose questions that can make even the most seasoned scientists head spin. And let's not forget the paradoxes and violations of causality that could arise from time travel or the prospect of stumbling upon other universes or dimensions. On the other hand, we have the speed of light, the universal speed limit, clocking in at a staggering 300,000 kilometers per second. Traveling at this speed offers its own set of advantages and disadvantages. It's a concept grounded in well-established physics, but with the vastness of the universe to contend with, even light speed travel takes time. As we stand on the precipice of a new era of exploration and discovery, we find ourselves wrestling with these complexities, these mysteries of space travel. The choice between wormholes and the speed of light is a choice laden with questions of feasibility, safety, ethics and more. But one thing is certain, the journey is as fascinating as the destination. Today, we explore the complexities and possibilities of wormholes and the speed of light. Imagine a tunnel that could take you from one end of the universe to the other in a fraction of a second. This isn't a premise for a science fiction novel, but a concept in theoretical physics known as a wormhole. Wormholes, in essence, are bridges through space-time. If you've ever folded a piece of paper and poked a hole through it, you've got a basic understanding of how a wormhole might work. It's a shortcut, a cosmic bypass that could make the vastness of space just a little bit smaller. The idea of zipping across the universe in the blink of an eye is certainly alluring. Forget about the speed of light. If we could stabilize a wormhole, we could travel faster than a beam of light, reaching distant galaxies that would otherwise remain unreachable. But wormholes aren't just about getting from point A to point B. They could also theoretically allow us to travel through time. Yes, you heard that right. Time travel, the stuff of countless sci-fi tales, could potentially be possible through the manipulation of wormholes. Now, as captivating as this idea is, it's important to remember that wormholes are still very much in the realm of theory. We've never observed one, and there are some pretty significant hurdles to overcome before we could consider using them for space travel. Creating or finding a wormhole, for starters, is a challenge we are yet to crack. Keeping one open is another issue entirely. The intense gravity and radiation near their entrances and exits pose another set of problems. And let's not forget about the potential paradoxes and causality violations that could arise from time travel. And then there's the question of where else a wormhole might lead. Could they connect not just distant points in our universe, but different universes entirely? It's a mind-bending concept that raises more questions than answers. So wormholes could potentially be a cosmic shortcut, but there are many hurdles to overcome. As we continue our exploration of the cosmos, we may yet find ways to navigate these challenges, turning the theoretical into reality. Now let's turn our attention to the speed of light, a constant that sets the pace for the entire cosmos. Imagine, if you will, a cosmic speed limit, a universal maximum that no object with mass can quite reach. This is the speed of light, an astounding 300,000 kilometers per second. It's so fast that light can zip around Earth seven and a half times in just one second. Mind-boggling, isn't it? But here's the kicker. In the grand scale of the universe, this speed is actually quite slow. The nearest star to us, Proxima Centauri, lies over four light years away. This means that even if we could travel at the speed of light, it would still take us over four years to reach it. 
and crossing our own Milky Way galaxy. That would take a whopping 100,000 years. And this is all assuming we could even achieve light speed travel, which according to Einstein's theory of relativity, is impossible for anything with mass. Despite these limitations, light speed travel does have some advantages over wormholes. For starters, the concept of light speed is rooted in well-established physics. It doesn't require any exotic or unknown forms of matter or energy like wormholes do. Travelling at the speed of light also doesn't involve the risk of encountering unknown or hostile regions of space or time that would be a concern with wormholes. You'd be able to observe and communicate with the surrounding universe in a predictable manner, without fear of paradoxes or causality violations. Moreover, the speed of light is not just a barrier, but also a guide. It sets the rules for how the universe works, from the behavior of atoms and molecules to the formation of galaxies. Understanding and harnessing the power of light is a crucial part of our quest to explore and understand the cosmos. Thus, the speed of light is a well-understood but daunting barrier to interstellar travel. So how do these two methods of space travel stack up against each other? Let's take a closer look. On one hand, we have wormholes, these hypothetical cosmic shortcuts that could potentially allow us to hop from one point in the universe to another in a blink of an eye. Sounds pretty fantastic, right? But there's a catch. There are many hurdles we'd need to overcome to make wormholes a viable option for space travel, from finding or creating these elusive structures, to keeping them open and stable, to navigating the intense gravitational forces and radiation at their entrances and exits, not to mention the potential paradoxes and causality violations that could arise from time travel. And then there's the possibility that wormholes could lead to other universes or dimensions. Talk about a wild ride. On the other hand, we have the speed of light, the universal speed limit. Traveling at this breakneck speed, we could traverse 300,000 kilometers every second. That's about 186,000 miles every second. Even at this incredible speed though, it would take us over four years to reach our closest neighboring star, Proxima Centauri, and a whopping 100,000 years to cross our own galaxy, the Milky Way. While the speed of light doesn't offer the same mind-bending shortcuts as wormholes, it does come with its own set of advantages. It's grounded in well-established physics, doesn't involve the risk of stumbling into unknown or hostile regions of space or time, preserves the order and consistency of causality and events, and allows for communication and observation of the surrounding universe. So, wormholes are the speed of light. Each has its own set of pros and cons, its own allure and challenges. The choice isn't straightforward and it's dependent on many factors, from feasibility and safety to ethics. Both methods offer tantalizing possibilities for space travel, but neither is guaranteed to work or be practical. The best way to travel across the universe might just be a blend of both methods or perhaps something entirely different that we haven't yet discovered. Each method has its own merits and challenges, making it hard to pick a clear winner. What does the future hold for space travel? As we stand on the precipice of the unknown, the future of space travel presents itself as a captivating enigma. The cosmic landscape, once thought to be insurmountable, is now being viewed through the lens of new possibilities. Wormholes and light speed travel, while currently theoretical, are two of these possibilities that have the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Looking ahead, we may find ways to combine these two methods. Imagine, if you will, a spacecraft capable of reaching light speed, embarking on a journey towards a stabilized wormhole. This combination could potentially reduce the travel time to distant galaxies from thousands of years to mere moments. Such an innovation would not only challenge our current perception of space travel, but also open up new horizons for exploration and discovery. Yet, the future may hold something entirely new, a concept or a technology that we have not yet conceived. Just as the theory of relativity was a groundbreaking revelation in the early 20th century, we may be on the verge of another paradigm shift in our understanding of space and time. This could be something beyond our current comprehension, an idea that redefines the boundaries of possibility. While we strive for these advancements, we must also consider the ethical implications of such progress. As we push the boundaries of the known universe, we must remember our responsibility to preserve the cosmic order and respect the mysteries that lie beyond our reach. The road to the future of space travel is paved with challenges and uncertainties, but it's these very challenges that fuel our curiosity and drive us to explore, to learn, and to innovate. 
As we continue this extraordinary journey, let's remember that every giant leap starts with a small step, a question, a theory, a dream. The universe is vast and full of mysteries, and space travel is an exciting frontier where science and imagination meet. 